time again to remind you of just how corrupt the machine has become and how close we are to a one world order. Uh, before I read this post that's in front of you now about the Senate considering adopting the UN measure regarding disabled people, uh, I'll bring you over here to the video where I picked up the information from Scrap Gold Business. I'll link you to this video. I want you to get their take on it because their historical analysis is uh, more informed than mine would be, um, but still, this is a vile, uh, disgusting thing that's going on, and it's, you know, timing is everything. I just put out the video asking people to band together and start homeschooling um, as we try to take this country back, and now I find out that there's even more reason to homeschool within minutes. It's just amazing um, how things happen. Uh, to support your efforts when you're really just looking for the truth. I, I come across the video, uh, and I came across the video from somebody else. I am subscribed to Scrap Gold Business, but I didn't see the information. Somebody else gave it to me. A little kick. Kevin, you need to look over here. And then I find this, and I read it, which I'll read to you now. Uh, as a first step towards ratifying a controversial United Nations resolution, the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee held a hearing today on how to care for disabled people. According to the U.N. Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, the best interest of the child is the gold standard for s deciding how those with disabilities are educated and by whom and in what setting. If two-thirds of the Senate senators choose to ratify it, the treaty would become binding and supersede all existing federal and state laws concerning parental rights, said Michael Ferris, chairman of the Homeschool Legal Defense Association, who testified at the hearing. The changes to the American law that will be required to comply with the provisions of this treaty are profound and utterly unacceptable, he said. Specifically, the changes regarding the rights of parents who have children with disabilities, which includes thousands of homeschooling families, are absolutely inconsistent with the basic constitutional principles of parental rights. The ratification of this treaty would constitute the most dangerous departure from the principles of American sovereignty and personal liberty in the history of the United States Senate. President Obama signed the CRPD in 2009 and sent it to the Senate in mid-May for ratification. However, the treaty doesn't just affect homeschooling families, all taxpayers through the framework of international cooperation would be obligated to help finance compliance measures in other countries that can't afford them, and most importantly, Ferris warned, it would subjugate the country to the United Nations. Well, we already are, but anyway, the United States, uh, if the United States becomes party to a treaty, all of the legal consequences which flow from this act of ratification will be limited to the territory of the United States. HSLDA administrators explained in a position paper, Article 4.2 requires the United States to use its maximum resources for compliance with these standards. The UN has interpreted similar provisions to criticize nations who spend too much on military issues and not enough on social programs. There is a reason to believe the UN would interpret these provisions in a similar fashion. The UN believes it has the power to determine the legitimacy and lawfulness of the budget of the United States to assess compliance with such treaties. Ferris is one of the only two people to speak against the treaty out of the seven who testified. The others include officials from the U.S. Department of State and the Department of Justice. A vote has not been scheduled. Um, so this is horrifying, okay? I mean, just so much in this. Uh, the infringement of parental rights, uh, the, the intended loss of homeschooling rights, the violation of disabled people, more proof that fucking Obama just does whatever the fuck he wants, um, and the mainstream media does nothing to keep you informed on a level that you should be. This is ridiculous. But in all this, um, I did check out the HSLDA site, and I'm going to link you to this too, and I want you to check it out because this is just an awesome resource. I have connected with them on Facebook. I haven't explored the whole site, I'm just starting to dig into it, but um, this is just a great, great resource, and I want to point out this link, 
which you will find here uh, when you visit the, the site, click the navigation menu and if you're considering homeschooling, hit this legal questions. The first thing you need to know is what type of battle you're going to have on your hands. This map gives you an overview um, and I was happy to see that Kentucky, my, home, my state now where I live, uh, with low regulation, state requires parental notification only. So that means that all I have to do is notify the school that I'm homeschooling them and I'm off and running. You'll see that some states um, are very hard to comply with this. Uh, most of the country right now is pretty fair to Midland. So you want to jump on board and get started on this before it's too late and you can't anymore. Um, so this is a great resource. Check this out. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to endorse becoming a member or not because I, I don't know, but I'm just, you can access this information and you need to. You need to inform yourselves. Uh, we need to start taking care of our kids at home and stop uh, allowing the government to be, do it. Uh, and it seems like it's not just the government that's going to be doing it. The United Nations, the One World Order, uh, will be teaching your children very soon. They're going to start off with this disabled people, right? Because they can get everybody on their side. Oh, we have to look out for the little guy who can't take care of himself. And how could his parents know or her parents know what is best for them? We're the United Nations. We're the global nation. We're the New World Order. We will protect you. Bullshit. Bullshit. You're not protecting me. Get the fuck away from me. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't need you. I, I don't need your written documents and your laws and your bullshit and I will not comply. I will not comply. You're violating my human rights. You, I will not comply and I'll do everything in my power to eliminate your authority on this earth where I dwell. Anyway, before I start ranting, I'm going to close out this video. The links to uh, Gold Scrap Business uh, YouTube, please get their take on this uh, again for the historical facts that I can't give to you check out the HSLDA uh, website, connect with them on their social network, start interacting, start figuring out what you got to do to uh, educate your children at home. And um, if I can help in any way, please just reach out to me. Much love, many thanks, and uh, got a few more things to touch on today, uh, so I'll be back in a while.